This is Christian Aguilera Sandoval. I'm your application scientist for the Southeast. Today we're going to be covering keywords. Keywords in Flojo are going to help you organize your workspace, label your parameters with your biological markers of interest, as well as to help you report in your reports for stats and graphics or visualizations. Now, with keywords in Flojo, you could either view the keywords that you entered during the time of acquisition or you could enter new keywords post acquisition and during your analysis in Flojo. How do we view the keywords that were entered during the time of acquisition? Well, you would first go to the column header shown here by the cursor, right click, then click on edit columns. Afterwards, you're going to see a list of all the keywords that are going to be associated by the cytometer at the time of acquisition. I would recommend to first Select the different reagents, like so. Click on Add Column, click on OK. Then you're going to go ahead and get the different uh, col uh, colors that you're using, and then you could label them with the different biological markers of interest. In this case, as you can see here, they're in the screen. And you could also copy them. Um, if you don't have them yet, you could always introduce them yourself. For instance, like let's say this was not CD8, but rather CD56. I would type in CD56, press enter, and it is now there. However, you wouldn't want to do this for every single sample. So the way you copy it to all your samples is you will select that keyword and then click on copy value to group. Now, all your samples are labeled with CD56 corresponding to the parameter of pack loop. You will do this with all your parameters. That way, everything is fully labeled. Uh, the other one, what about if you wanted to see a, an actual keyword that you've already used. Well, let's get rid of these parameters and view the other keywords that were entered during time of acquisition. Right click, edit columns. We're going to highlight the different reagents, remove them from the columns. Then we're going to scan the keywords. Tim, who's our application scientist for the Midwest, went ahead and added an asterisk in front of his custom keywords because this allows him to quickly identify the keywords of his, that he he did custom. This is a way for you to also be able to later on, should you no longer be in the lab or you need to revisit this workspace, are able to find them quickly because as you can see, there's a lot of different keywords and they are ordered alphabetically and grouped in different sections. So here we're just going to select STEM and we're going to click on add column and click on okay. Now that's the keyword that shows up with its respective sub keywords as NS or NSPI, PINS, and PIPI respectively. What about if we wanted to add our own custom keywords, but during at that time of analysis? Well, this is quite simple, really. You will click on, again, workspace, and then add keyword. Here we would just type in whatever it is that we want to type in. For instance, I'm going to just go ahead and put in treatment and i'm gonna click ok and it's gonna show up here i could again enter it manually and i could say vaccine or placebo and for the next one you could either use a drop down button find it alternatively let's say that you knew there was a pattern of vaccine placebo and let's say no treatment how do you set up that series well Let's select that keyword and then go to, again, workspace, and then create keyword value series and then click on it. Then you will select on keywords and then let's type in that pattern, vaccine, placebo, and let's just say also no treatment, okay? The next thing we're gonna say, well, we want this to start over every three samples and here you can see the pattern that would be showing up with all your samples you're gonna press ok and there you go everything is now in that specific pattern now what about if um, you want to get keywords from excel we could also do that so let's say let's create two keywords here so we're going to go to add keyword and we're going to type in, let's say, asterisk gender. 
And then we're going to add another keyword and say asterisk pastry. This is just for demo purposes. Then we're going to open up our Excel spreadsheet and we're going to go ahead and select the sample the keywords that we're going to be transferring copy them go back to our workspace and then you would just select it where you want to add it and then you control paste and there you go you very quickly have transferred your keywords from your excel file to your workspace here you could also go to the header right click and do sort ascending you will see them there or sort descending and you will see it up here okay the last thing that i also i also want to go over is we could change the order in which we would see the keywords here in the columns you would do right click edit columns here we could then let's say that we want to put gender after cells pastry after gender and we're going to leave treatment at the end okay so then you press okay and there you go, you've also changed the order.